Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our fourth lesson of Bazel tutorial. Uh, in today's tutorial, we're gonna show you how to work with dependencies. Um, I think you're gonna love it. And let's go ahead and do it. All right, so let's review. We have our uh, main.cc, right? That basically includes a hello.h um, header, and that it needs a hello class, and then just call say hi on it. And now hello.h header looks like this, where it's just simple class and the source for it, uh, just simple hello basil, right? So let's look at our build file. Okay, now build file, we will pay attention to these two main targets, uh, hello lib and the binary uh, wowza. So our wowza library has a main.cc file. Uh, that cc file, uh, need, needs the hello library as a dependency, right? And our hello library has two uh, files in it, hello cc and hello .h. Okay, so that seems clear, right? All right? So today I'm gonna show you one way where you can look at your dependencies. Because, like, you know, in our case, we have only two, one library, right? So we have a uh, main cc depends on uh, hello library and happy days. Um, in real life, like in the in the corporation, right? Like when you work in a big firm, you will have uh, a lot of libraries, and that's what the Bazel is good at, right? To uh, at the scale, to work in the scale, when you have a lot of a lot of libraries and scales very well. So, like let's say, for example, take companies like Google or Facebook, right? Um, so the reason they really like Bazel, and you know, Facebook wrote their own thing uh, around Bazel, but the reason they like that lib uh, this engine is because uh, it scales very well. So I'll show you what uh, what we can do. So let's say we want to look at the dependency of our uh, Wowza target, right? So what we can do, we can say Bazel query, uh, and then say depths. Then our target, it's basically our package is hello, and our target is Wowza, right? Um, then you will have to pass this flag. Uh, I'll just explain you what that means. Um, you, you want to say no implicit dependencies because otherwise it will show you all, like all the system stuff that you don't really need to know. Um, so just remember to pass this um, no implicit dependence flag. All right, let's uh, execute this. Boom. Okay. So what it showed us, it shows us this our target has main.cc flag, uh, main.cc source, and it depends on this hello lib that has hello.h and hello.cc. Because we as a Wowza depend on this library through these files, right? Um, okay, so this is already cool, right? But then again, as I sh told you before, that big firms like Facebook and Google and stuff, they have like thousands of libraries, right? So you're not gonna just look at this and be like, oh my god, what is this? Like, how do I depend on this library, right? So there's another cool stuff where you can do is uh, let's look at our command again. You can say output um, graph. And then let's uh, pipe this to our graph that in, right? Okay, so if you open this graph that in file, right? I don't know if you're familiar with that syntax, um, but this is basically called that syntax, right? They will just create like the Benzi tree. Um, so now the cool part. What you can do, there's this uh, application called dot. Um, uh, Almost like all the Linuxes have it, so you might not have to install it. But if you have to, you have to install it, you can just Google and see how to install that on your application, on your machine. But most of the machines have it, so then we can just um, process this. Um, so we'll process this file, the graph syntax file, and we're gonna create the PNG file out of it, right? With the dot. Okay. So now let's open it. Uh, I'll open it like this so that you guys can see, but you can open through whatever ways boom you see so it generates the nice looking graph so when you have thousands of libraries this is very useful all right i hope you guys like this video please like and subscribe thank you very much